What have we got? Monster already popping in cooldowns, apparently. This man is ready to go. Hopefully, you have cooldowns. Hopefully, you're not the first one up, but it's gonna be a monster on to blue. We got a southern grease. So, war port coming back in. We got Sanders. We got us a Cherna versus Team Blue with Boundless. We got us a Christina of Bliv as a battle scarred fireman. Actually, looks kind of cool, dude. Looks like he's like part of the uh, Blade Blades Edge clan or whatever it was. We got us a Red gonna be going up first, and Ur is the name. Your okay, we'll call him your we got us a sad versus red Gonna be going up for big damage. It's gonna be a hydro to sad and red taking a quite a bit of a percentage damage here Every time he casts a ability that is technically magic I think with the eye of lethros she'll live in us up and said is gonna go for massive kill from Warport, sitting in dark as best as possible trying to break through shield of vengeance looks like I actually absorb most Oh, but, but said needs to go for damage himself ASAP stun onto red needs to go for as much damage while he's on super low Oh, he's not gonna survive this. He needs to get himself as much healing as humanly possible. Might be a little bit rough here. As Red does get to A, we take him out with a big old spear. Yo, for said, he wasn't mad at dude. He just needed to do more damage or use more leech or something. But that was a little bit rough. And that's gonna be Red versus Monsper. Monsper slowed already. He's walking very slowly, menacingly at Red. Maybe he's trying to go for a little bit of that. Fake out strat gonna be a stun onto monster. Lucy he's not gonna be tricking and red is gonna get in there. Get as much damage as he can and bail the hell out of there as soon as possible. Try to punish monster every time he just doesn't go for any kind of damage. And gonna be a hydrogen and red. Big blow to the enemy for monster, but looks like it's gonna be a bubble immediately for red. Monster didn't even pop bubble or didn't even pop wings. Getting interrupted on the cast and red might be able to turn this around here with some counter pressure. Lucy is kinda hanging back for a bit. Shield of Vengeance up for Monsper. That blood of the enemy popped. Force the Shield of Vengeance that or Shield Bubble that easily. It looks like finally wings are up for Monsper. Red, no look with Bubble. Oh my god. Was that the best fake out of all your life? Well, that's the best fake out of 2020 in arenas. Oh my goodness. Blood of the enemy popping the wings and down he goes. Oh my god. Out of here. <laughs> Ah, we're the Bliv gonna be up next versus Monster on Team Red Polymorph. Hitting him with a Greater Pyre right after. It's gonna hit him with a G Pyre. Mally to follow. Tank trinkets for Monster right now. Oh my god, you guys are all AU with your tank trinkets, dude. I am. I wonder how an A is gonna be, dude. I wonder if an A is gonna have nearly as many tank trinkets. Or maybe even more, for all we know, dude. Everyone we'll plays him in AWC. Oh, I saw Cedar run it, so now I want to run it too. I wonder how many people are have that mentality. They saw a guy use it, so now they want to use it. Well, it obviously work for them. Work for me too, right? Monster getting blasted with a monster cut damage from the fire mage. As a blue taking him out. Monster did use a bubble for it's a blue there. Polymer trying to come out for a blue. Not gonna interrupt on Inferno. Inferno. I don't know if he wants to interrupt or not. Looks like he doesn't want to do it. Wings are up. Trickets. Stun onto a blue. If he trick it, blinks out of there. Let's come twist that better. Inferno blue. Might want to fire blast. It does get to. That's gonna be another bubble. Yo, blue just popping bubbles from these palace man. Inferno going in for blood of the enemy by the looks of it. If that's what that was. Breath of Inferno for a second. The blue is gonna hit him with the meteor while we'll trying to get the hell out of there. And Cherna's gonna eat a Pyro Blaster too. Ring of Frost is gonna be up and running. Cherna does not want to get frozen. But he might have to if he wants to approach a Bliv. He does have TDs randomly firing off. Let's still get a couple auto attacks through the pillar onto a Bliv. That's gotta be a bit of that temporal up and running. Does it a bob for the temporal? <laughs> oh no. He popped a bob and she's about to get polyed. And it's gonna be a Bliv seal on that bob. Cherno, I feel like that was maybe a misplay. I think he was trying to press Shield of Vengeance, and I think he pressed, pressed both abilities at the same time. <laughs> Super unfortunate that it happened. But Blue's just going to take the time, maybe get some food. Looks like Cherno is going to be up and running, up and at him, getting hit with a G Pie immediately into a hide. I believe actually goes for a trinket into a big old meat to Cherno, taking a lot of damage. Blue just needs a little bit more damage if he has Cherno at 30% or more health. Then he can start scorching him with Scorches being 100% crit. And the Scorches feed into the Pyroblast proc. So you might be able to get quite a bit of damage off of that. But only if he gets him low enough. Only if he gets him low enough. Chermo. Gonna hit with a breath into a Palmer for after by a Bliv. And that's gonna be G-Pi to follow. Should be quite a bit of damage here. 
Break a frost right after. Is going to get him the big to back. So you see big pies back to back. Churn is somehow breaking out of the shield of Is going to be hidden with a Maladek? And a couple fire blasts. Down he goes. Next with the Warper. Going to be going up next. Sorry, boys. I had a bit of a cough. Didn't want to cough in all your ears. This is going to be a Bliv. Getting go for a bit, a bit of a, a breath of fire to disorient. Warport and his pets. Warport still has a lot of damage potential ready. She needs to get Chaos Bolts and spend Soul Shards while the pet is up and running. It would have to be running a fire. You just need to start spending Soul Shards ASAP. Warport is pretty heavily corrupted though. Could be a thing from beyond on him any moment. So I believe if he just gets that master damage sizzling on him. Just harass him. Going in actually for the big damage right now. Big combustion. Getting hit with a fear. That's going to be Chaos Bolts of back to back fears as Warport is finally getting to some damage. But the Infernal Pet is down. No longer available to beef up all the rest of it. But it's going to be even more CC from Warport. He's got the fastest cast in the West here. The art, all his fears getting interrupted on a Chaos Bolt. Warport still haven't had any corruptions hit him yet. Try to see if he can just dodge. Away from the Greater Paid, Greater Pyro. I'm actually surprised Warport hasn't got a hit by corruption. He's so purple, dude. He's like so bluish, purplish, so corrupted. I think from beyond is going to be approaching any time now. I believe he's going to drop down a meteor next. Warport actually thought he would go juke left, but he juke right instead. And Warport getting interrupted on another chaos bolt. Cataclysm trying to come out. Breath to fall and not given an opportunity to get a cast off. It looks like Obliv is the thing from beyond. We all thought we were looking for a corruption to open up. But it looks like Obliv is the corruption. With Obliv getting hit with the stunners, and Grisa is going to try to see if he can get some demon form damage rolling. Obliv is going to make some damage away from Grisa. Probably going to be a shadow melt here in the last second. It is going to be a shadow melt. With Obliv going for a poly, and Grisa actually metamorphosed in the polymorph. Obliv got himself a temporal for some of the damage from Grisa. Hit him with a breath. I mean, he's going to try to go for yet another poly. It looks like it is a full poly. And it's going to be probably greater pool. Tricky coming out for Grisa. Should have expected that greater pyro trinket, though. It's going to be interrupted on Grisa on the Ivium. Got another Palmer for coming out. And Obliv still is holding on to Ice Block. Cauterize still available. Got a Mally on turn Grisa. Should be quite a lot of damage. Trying not to get interrupted on the fire. Obliv should be able to get himself quite a bit of heals back up here with that Cauterize. Got himself Pyro Blast rolling as he got himself fired up. Mally still rolling on turn Grisa. And it's going to be in prison onto Obliv. And Grisa is out stuck in the open. It's going to be darkness. No, no darkness actually. It looked like Darkness was going to be down for a second. Somehow the great that ring somehow breaks. The Ring of Frost, no, I'm going to do it. And Obliv goes down. I didn't even know how that Ring of Frost broke just now. That was just some classic WoW randomly CC breaks. Just because resist or whatever. Just randomly resisted. <laughs> That's what it felt like. <laughs> but that's going to be Obliv going down. Even though he had himself a hell of a run. With Boundless going to be going up next. Stun onto the Rogue. Trick us out of it. It's just try to finish off on Grisa. Darkness coming in for the Demon Hunter as soon as possible. While he's under pressure from this Rogue. Still kidney shouting into the Darkness. And Grisa still able to survive quite a bit of damage from the Rogue. Just immuning it. And got himself Metamorphosis up and running. Tried to heal himself with Crucible while Leech is up. Just use a few more Global Stake down Boundless. Glocker Shot is coming up for the Rogue with a Safeguard Trinket. Does he get a blind on Grisa? No way out of it. Grisa might be able to maybe fly up in the air and pelt Boundless if he comes out of stealth. So for Boundless, this is his game to lose right now. His game to lose. He needs to go for a full stun and take down the... Uh, no, he actually does go for a Garone. That could be a perfect opportunity for Grisa to go up in the air right after this. His Boundless with a Dressergath. Into a prison right after. Could fly up in the air. Stun into Boundless. Could end them right here. Actually, Vanish coming in for the Rogue. Does get to eat a bleed. Is going to try to come out of that stun, out of that vanish with a cheap shot, trying to end the Demon Hunter, finally does it! He actually did it, he almost lost that one too! Oh my god, he actually almost lost it. He actually almost got messed up. Oh my goodness! That would have been really, really bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. So what is that rogue team? I mean, the Demon Hunter's team? It wasn't by one, was it? No, it was, um... Angry some.